Hello everyone and welcome back to another part of Let's Play Doppelganger Danuf in Virgin Souls. So last time we did... I'm just showing it again because why not? We made a reverse lies on this path. We made the ending tomorrow from the four that we have here. And this is what I told you the last time at the very end. That I just figured for some reason. But I will want to make like... I will not play the whole thing again and just do something, like something random. I'll look and see where this uh, actually starts to be. Like, Okay, so it starts to be only dawn. So I think... I don't know how much a prologue is like for the whole game, but probably a lot, right? Pro prologue with these, especially these questions from Detective Neil, was it, right? I think they're really uh, making a difference to the whole playthrough because there aren't too many choices you can make, so let's see. So right here Dawn and then we had here we were with Yuri, yes? Okay, and this is the first decision I think that we can like make where we can make a difference. So there are like this is one decision, two, three. Okay, so we have three decisions and we made one. It led to one path, so we can make at least the three other paths on the reverse lies to complete this path with a different combination. So let's just start by doing something different from here. At least I think so. So let's just go back right here, like, yeah, it's right here, right? Okay, this is still dawn and this is reverse lies and... Okay, so this is... The first decision in the reverse lies. So let's just go right back into it. I was just making sure, guys. Don't worry about it. Oh, see, we can even see the difference. No, no, don't. <laughs> Never mind. I just thought maybe they show me what I just chose before. Guess not. So let's just make not like not convince June to come and not June. You shouldn't come. So let's just say no. You shouldn't come. Nah, don't worry about it. Oh, okay. Anyway, I should go home now. See you later, Lucia. Yeah, see you later. Uh, tomorrow. <laughs> I can't read. Hey, glasses. You're late. I was about to roll into my bed and go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was visiting Senor Rafael. Oh, I see. How was your boyfriend doing? <laughs> he didn't want to see me. Oh, she's not denying it. But enough about that, how about yourself? What about me? You know, how are things with June? <laughs> Aww. Shut the hell up. <laughs> I'm her best friend. I can match make you with her if you want to. Uh, what? Are you sure about that? Only if I can see you as a worthy person. Oh. <laughs> ah, forget it. I have no chance to get with her. Zero. Not a... Oh well, I was trying to be nice, you know. Yeah, yeah, let's just get this over with, okay. Alrighty, so this is different, definitely different, so let's see where this will go. I try to teach him as well as I can, but he constantly yawns and remains unfocused for the entirety of the season. This is useless, I should go home now, at least probably waiting for me. Oh... I have to go home now. This early? We have one hour left. I have to keep a promise of someone. Well, what a popular girl you are. Pretty unexpected if you ask me. Don't worry, I'll make up for the missed time in our next season. No need to. I'm glad you were away. Studying is boring, man. I'd rather cu- Uh, never mind. Oh, probably cook, right? <laughs> Well, if we know his secret, we know what he wanted to say. Hmm? Anyway, see you tomorrow. This is kind of like making me a little bit sad inside. Be because maybe it was a little bit too early. Well, we did made the we did change the earliest decision. Maybe that's it. Maybe we really just have to change um, each decision that we got. Like, you know what I mean? Like, for example, this is the only decision we will make so far, maybe. I don't know. The thing is, guys, the thing is, Lee, when we worked with him, 
and he in like interrogated us about this um, part-time job. We could convince him that Yuri is alright because he was June was there and he liked her and hopefully she'll explain to him that he likes June. Please, because I have a bad feeling about this right now. Because June wasn't with us. She was some kind of like a safe, you know, like a safe joker who can save you, a safeguard from Lee and his and his mindset and intentions and everything. So I'm not sure I'm still I want to believe in Lee because he isn't such a bad person, but he is acting so weird and suspicious lately in these parts. I just can't bring myself. Lee and I work on our essay together. Okay, I think we already read this. So I'm gonna skip that. Just seeing, just looking at the text. And it's just uh, because we already saw that. Because I don't want to read everything again. Because it will take a lot of time. I mean, look at the endings we have to do. And let's just say. <laughs> Well, Lucia, you only notice now. Yep. Okay, we already saw everything of this, but I will just... I will not do skip because I'm scared we will skip also some new uh, stuff. So let's just go like this. I mean, we can do it pretty much pretty fast. Hmm. Okay, now we... I'm just gonna do... Read it from here because... Yeah. What business did you had earlier? Oh, I'm tutoring Miss Celine Ivanov's son in some school subjects to add some cash to my income. You mean you have a part-time job? Are you short of money? I could help you, you know? No, it's fine. I just want to experience the joy of sharing knowledge with others. It was a pretty convincing reason. Ivanov, do you mean Ignatius? But he's missing. No, no, uh, he has an older brother. His name is Yuri. And this is where the stuff happens. His face darkens and as if he suddenly felt of rage. That boy's trouble, he's the delinquent. Why do I suddenly feel like a girl in a horror movie but everyone yells advice that right before she does something that cause, causes people to die? This is actually not that she's saying it like that. I really have a feeling that the decisions we make right now is making people die. Not, not the girl, but the people. So... I know, I can take care of myself. No, this is different. This is different. And I have a bad feeling. <laughs> I have a really bad feeling. Do you mind if I come along too? Okay. Wh what? You don't have to. After all, it's my job. Plus, it's extremely awkward. <laughs> yep. That's, that's true. It's okay. I insist. I can see his hand gripping the pen he's holding very tightly, as if he's about to crack it in two. Okay, I really don't want to make him any more angry. I better just respond with a yes. Uh, of course you can! I'll be teaching him again tomorrow. I think, I think Lucia has slightly a new hang about what's going on with Lee, so... Good, then I'll fetch you first thing in the morning. God damn it. Actually, we'll be studying from 3pm to 6am. Great, I'll be here at 2.30 uh, then. The script loosens and I feel so relieved for some reason. Yep, me too. And I don't know if anyone else is in the house right now, but I don't want to make him angry. Because so far Lee is pretty unpredictable and I don't know what's going on with him, so... I still want to believe, but believe in him, but still... What the heck just happened? Yeah, usually he would be saying some other stuff that we don't want to experience again. I decided to start reading the draft Nia gave me. Okay, this is something... Yeah, okay, we already saw this everything, so... Let's just... Oh. Hello? Oh yeah, okay, yeah. Oh man, it still doesn't change. Uh, I have a feeling there is this one decision that I made, an impulse, and I didn't thought maybe it would be like having some kind of consequence. And I think it's a decision that I once made 
um, that I went over to Senior Raphael instead of Lee. And this is maybe the cause why the thing happened with... What? Oh. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is also... man, I'm getting so confused, I really have to... If I distract myself into something else, I can't really... Can't really concentrate. Uh, yeah, and she then starts to be like... Telling us something about things that she understands and sees and... Okay. Oh, it's Yuri. Oh yeah, uh, I think right now Yuri would have been here with June, but because June wasn't with us this other day, and he didn't like brought her home, n never anything of these happened, and we never really learned. We wouldn't have learned anything about his story, so it was a pretty, pretty big decision which we made, like not bringing June along. Heard about your boyfriend died. You okay? Ah, that stupid Yuri. I think I should just cancel today's meeting. Yeah, can't teach her today. Leave me alone. Need a friend to talk to? <laughs> oh, 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 guys. Oh man, more decisions. More decisions. Mm, I don't know. I don't know which path. This is now completely a different, a different kind of thing. So I don't know. I know, I know. Like I have a feeling if I go, yeah, and he will come here, it will make us feel better, and and maybe June still wouldn't be here, right? So let's just say yeah for now. Okay, I guess. Okay, so how are you feeling? Oh, just for this, okay. What do you think? <laughs> Stamping. <laughs> like he's just mailing us with some WhatsApp or stuff like that. Not really a good question, huh? Want to come over and cook for you, uh, cook with you for something? <laughs> cook? That's odd. You can cook? Are you sure? I don't really have anything to do right now anyway. Okay, this is what I feared because because June wouldn't be here if she wouldn't if she doesn't come. That means that Lee will come later and he will see that Yuri is here. You know what I'm getting at? And I have a really bad feeling about this because like you guys said, I have I doubt that Senior Rafa killed himself and he was like and he died from falling off a roof. I really doubt he did it himself, so I really don't want to suspect Lee, but it all kind of points to him, and especially the way he talks. So I just noticed how weird it is that like this table is right in front of the door, like this. This is the door, isn't it? Why is the table right in front of it? Just noticed that. Hmm, that's kind of weird. Okay then. Okay, be very nimble. <laughs> uh, probably in the moment, right? Be here in the mo. What, what took you so long? I had to do something. Excuse me? F forget it. Must have taken some time to use skincare, hair gels, and trim your nails, huh? I was joking, of course, but his face suddenly drained of color. What? Ah, yeah, okay, yeah, we know, we know why. He already. But there's nothing wrong with preparing yourself before going, I, I guess. Excuse me? Yep, she has no clue in this path so far. <laughs> That's kinda cool. I'm really glad we did have the other ending before, so this will this actually makes so much more sense. And I'm really glad to understand something for once in this game. Okay, let's see what's inside of your refrigerator. Hmm, I think we can make some pasta if we use these ingredients. Yeah, big pasta will prepare peppers and cheese. Yuri swiftly prepares the ingredients as if he has been cooking for years. Oh, this guy is really a pro. You cook? Y yeah, I, I love cooking. I'm thinking about quitting school. 
We're eventually going to culinary school to become a chef, but my dad will kill me, of course. He wants me to follow his footsteps and become a renowned doctor, or maybe at the very least a dentist like my mom. Man, I just thought something was on my keyboard. <laughs> it's every everything's just fine. Hey, I'm just seeing things. I mean, why can't I just do whatever the hell I want? Ah, your kitchen is so goddamn dirty. <laughs> Excuse me? Are you gonna help me or not? Yeah. When Yuri begins cooking, it seems like he's being a different person. I wonder what kind of person he really is. Or is he actually showing a different side of him now that we have become acquainted? Maybe. Okay then, let's see what we have here. Ugh. He jumps backwards and runs out from the kitchen. Huh? What is this? I go over to a cupboard that Judy had opened and look inside. I don't see anything noteworthy. Oh wait, there's a cockroach inside. Ew, gross. Well, I better get the bug spray. Hey, Judy, it was a cockroach. Kill it. Kill it. For God's sake, fucking kill it. <laughs> you, are you afraid of cockroach? No, oh, that's a surprise. No one's gonna kill it. Shut up. I hate rats and spiders and cockroaches. Fucking hate them. <laughs> God damn it. Now that's unusual. I better call mom for help. Oh, this is so different. Yuri's food is ready and laid out on the table. I can see mom looking at it with sheer happiness. Oh, I didn't know Selena's son was such a good cook. Yeah, I used to have mom cook dinner. Please have some. Ah, I'll eat when her dad comes back home. The two of you can eat first. Mom leaves. Uh, I'm really glad her mom is here. <laughs> Mom leaves uh, to the back room and Yuri starts preparing the place rapidly, like he's done a thousand of times. Okay, I'm feeling much better after seeing you shrieking because of a mere cockroach. But what is this? I seriously think you have some explaining to do. Oh man, D do I really have to? Well, I'm not going to force you, but I'm starting to think you're bipolar, so... Uh, that's... That was how I am usually at home. I don't care what you guys say, but I think my personality is a bit... What do you guys call it? Effing... Effeminate? Uh, I see. It explains everything, so... Yeah, I am pretending to be like this so I won't get bullied. Uh, oh, I think I get it. It's no wonder when that you act all mean and tough. But somehow that makes me feel calmer now that I know you aren't a real bad boy. <laughs> if you can't even, ca if you can even call me a boy, oh come on, man! It's pretty sensitive to the word boy, it seems. Although this subject has made me think. So many more decisions. Oh my god! Where am I going? Is it still reverse lies? Good. He probably uh, stay like this to avoid being judged by his friends. I wonder what he was like back then. Uh, I wonder. I really. I wonder what he was like back then. Will he do? I think we will choose this and see this because this is what I truly want him to tell, especially after what we saw in the last ending. So, I wonder how it will affect this, uh, like this whole decision, so let's see. I wonder what he was like back then. What is that bad so he was bullied? Oh, what is that bad? Okay. But then again, kids can be pretty harsh on things they don't understand. Yep. Oh no. Hmm. Someone rings the doorbell repeatedly. I wonder who that can be. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god, I forgot Lee is coming to fetch me today. What is he going to say when he sees that Yuri is here? This is what I feared, guys. I very, very feared this very moment. Can we just say that we decided to do it at our house? Like, I mean, it's no problem to, like, change the location, right? Please tell me this is how the game will play out, because this is, like, my only option that I would have said to Lee. Oh no, oh, this is so awkward. God damn it. And he looks so happy. This is like the, s the most sweetest happy face I can imagine before everything going down. Hello, Lucia. 
Are you ready to go? Um, Lee? I, sh I, I surely think that... Um... Oh, someone's here. Oh, why do you have to say anything, man? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Everything's going down, guys. <laughs> let's just continue. I choose this path, so let's see where this will go. <laughs> this doesn't look great so far. What the... You. Me. <laughs> it's so perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lee, it's you. <laughs> what if I cut myself into... I don't know. I really don't know. I'm so no... don't know anything. The three of us ate in silence and said absolutely nothing during the course of a meal. Oh, how I would have loved for Lee to have just forgotten about teaching... fetching me today. Trust me, girl, he would have never forgotten it. I decide to visit Sing again today. Guys, I think I just sentenced a death about someone really, really precious. Guys, I have such a bad feeling. I see. You found that again. Okay, um... Lee? Okay. Okay, yeah, we already know this. Oh, man. Yeah, okay, we already know. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so this is what we already saw. I think the whole thing, like, isn't anything new, so... Yeah, I think she will probably say the same thing. Yep. Oh my god, guys. I have a feeling I just made a horrible, horrible decision upon Yuri with my thing. Like, oh yeah, come over. It's not like someone else is coming who's probably not happy to see you. Oh, and it didn't really end very well in the thing that it was just silence and silence. Like, the silence can mean more than a thousand words, you know? And now it's going down. Okay, okay. Okay, yep. Uh. Okay, it's still him. Okay, so this is still the same. And this guy, man, this guy, I really don't know anything. I mean, we still don't know this guy's name. We still don't know his name. We only know that he's Nia's brother. Oh man. This is so weird. <laughs> I but I have a very bad feeling. A very, very bad feeling. don't know anything. This part is so different. Okay, it's still reverse slice, so that's good. Uh, but, but it means this is a different path, right? This is definitely so much different. So let's just ask for her help now again and see if this will change. Because I'm not sure. Maybe it won't. But... I have a feeling how it might end up. Like, I have a feeling that... Um. Well. Yep. <laughs> God damn it. So, um, I have a feeling that by finding out how to do it, we actually try to do it, but it won't, like, it will not work. This is what I think. I think this is the next ending. It will not work and something else will happen, so... Okay. 
can I talk to you for a moment? Shoo, what is it? I think someone's been trying to kill me. Okay, this is different. Let's see. C kill you? Look, I, I don't know if I should tell you this, but right now you're the only person who knows about my problem. Uh, okay, I'm pretty good at keeping secrets as long as you don't bother me. You see, I have a doppelganger. Doppelganger? What if? To hear that horrible word again. And I don't know. It's just, I wish for a couple of things for it to do. But by having a doppelganger, it means instant death to me when my wishes are fulfilled. What? Who said that? Just someone. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I should do, man. You know, Yuri, we're in the same boat. I have a doppelganger too. Y you do? Yeah, I wouldn't make that stuff up. So what are you gonna do with that? I mean, I... Uh, c can I talk about this over at your place? Sure. Okay then, see you soon. Okay, let's see where this will go. While waiting for Yuri, I decided to go outside for a bit and get some fresh air. When I walk out my apartment building in front door, I see Rico standing okay. I think we really saw this. Hey, that's uh, what you thought the people like us was kind of sidey and whatnot. Are you on business? Okay, wait, is it different? I think it is. Tell me about it. Even living is a pain for people like us. It's stupid slayers literally all over the place. What slayer? Don't worry, he won't kill you as far as we know. Okay, tell me, do you know how to get rid of? Uh, okay, this is what we already know, so this is... Yeah, just cringe. Tell the guy he's a moron and tell him that I'm gonna kick his ass someday. <laughs> Aww. I really have some problems to figure out what already was happened and not. I think the last time we talked to him it was very short and nothing really special happened, so yeah. E excuse me? How can I say that to his face? Beats me. That's my last, well, my last wish, okay? Last wish? Alcudu was stared his back as he turned around and left me standing where I was. Oh no. Oh no, this is going to be not a good ending, is it? Yuri is sitting in front of me, fiddling with his home as he munches on the cookies I gave him. <laughs> Aww. I can just imagine how he's doing it. Okay, now tell me what your problem is. Fine. A guy just come over that day and he warned me about a couple of things. A couple of things? Yes, let's get more information about the story. This is very important right now. That someone sent someone else to kill me. And you believed him. Y yeah, I mean I do. Someone did actually come to kill me. What? Jun saved me by handing me my lost wallet. The assassin left immediately when she showed up. That's good. Good. That's, a, that's very nice. D do you know who it, he was? I forgot what he was called. Uh, but Jun knew him. Seriously? Could it also be someone I know? He is probably from your high school. You should just ask June about him. Okay. Hey, Lucia, can I ask you something? What is it? Do, do you think that manly rev version of me would work better in our society? Well, it would depend on what you were like. Just like now. It's just... without this appearance... This appearance, of course. I left my hair long and I played the only with girls. But it's too late for that now, huh? It's never too late. But it will require a lot of work, of course. I think if we would have decided to think something else before, it, she would have said something else to him right now. So that's interesting. Okay, this is another kind of thing for another path, I think. Someone like a person I was then? I don't know. People have different tastes, but I think so. Heh, <laughs> there is bound to be someone, right? Of course. Thanks, that was really reassuring. 
Then how about you? Oh, I don't know. I'm not close to the idea, but it's just that Sinio just... Ah, right, sorry, I shouldn't have. Oh, so he asked if you liked someone? Like someone who accepted us without anything? Oh, now that I look at him! Oh man, I know it's really random, but I just saw some kind of game with some, like, Neko girls and boys, and like the these are people like humanoid people who had who have cat features and he looks like she has some cat ears here you know <laughs> and i just noticed that the lamp in the background makes him look especially with this expression he looks like a little neko boy <laughs> that's so cute <laughs> i know it's so random sorry about but i just had to make myself feel a little bit better <laughs> cat damn it You've never seen the real me anyway, without all the fake additions. It's okay, but you never know. For now, I'll definitely be your friend, that's for sure. After Yuri went home... Oh, <laughs> after Yuri went home, I called... I decided to call June. Hello? June, uh, I'm sorry to bother you, but Yuri told me that you returned his wallet. Oh, uh, yeah, I did. What's up? Was someone with him at the time? Um, let me really try to remember. Right, and Lee was there. I didn't know they were friends, did you? I, I didn't know they were friends, did you? I mean, it's Lee of all people. <laughs> oh. Ah, uh, I see. Lee? It was Lee who was sent to kill Yuri? This is just... I just can't believe this. Lucia, are you still there? Ah, uh, yeah. Of course I'm here. Thank you very much. Are you two fine? What? Yuri and you, are you two fine? Why you ask that? You sound like we're going out or something. I see. Take care of Yuri for me, okay? <laughs> God damn it, it hurts so much. No matter what he does or what he really looks like, he's a boy. June hangs up and just blankly and I just blankly stirred my cell phone. What did she just say? At night, Nia calls me. I really forgot too long into a yeehaw. Okay, I think we already saw this part, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, now this is the other thing. God damn it, I'm kind of feeling... I don't know what to feel. I really don't know. Don't know anything about anything. Yes, that's right. I can't possibly take the orb away, so I have to deny my doppelganger. I don't know how I'll be able to find her or even deny her, but at least I'll be able to help you fight his own. Send a text message right now. Okay, okay. 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 It's her face, my doppelganger. Are you sure? Yes, I believe that's how you do it. I, I don't know if I can do something like that. What do you mean? It's getting a little, a little bit loud outside. I hope you. I really hope you don't hear that. And yeah, because my parents have a really loud voice, and I really don't know. If they're getting a little bit louder, I would just. Wait a second. Had to make sure that they're going to be quiet for the next past time, hopefully. Like, my god. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, let's continue this this part. Let's see where this will lead us. Because I don't have the best feeling about this at all. 
But it's very good to know that the person who sent to kill Yuri was Lee. For some reason. I don't know if, if this has anything to do with, this, with the fact that the orb is in his family and... I don't know. I really don't know what the connection with him and this whole doppelganger business even is. Let's just see. What do you mean? I want to be like that. A true man. Someone I can't become because of the defect of mine. I can't possibly deny him. No, I, I can't. Why? Weren't you listening? He's the very existence I want. No way! You you shouldn't just give up and hand your life away. Why do you care so much anyway, huh? Think about it, if you fail, then I'll fail too. The both of us, we have doppelgangers knowing that we can't possibly fail. Let's just not give up and lay down, waiting for our deaths. We're better than that. Also, Drew wanted me to help you. She's my best friend, so it's the least, this is the least I can do for her. At least, this is... Yeah, let's just do it for her. I don't have whatever it takes to reject him. Yes, you do. You just have to be happy and accept who you really are. Bullshit. There's no one who wants someone like me. Of course there's no one. Just, of course there's no one. Just look at you. You're a delinquent. You're not good in school. You have no focus for anything except emoing. <laughs> nice. H what? How dare you? Don't focus on how you're gonna be, okay? Just focus on what you can do, change to do. What you can do to change yourself. You can do, you don't want to die, right? And you better fight, you don't. God damn it, I can't read today. And you better fight so you don't have to lose yourself to some entity that you summoned. I turned my back and then left him standing there by himself. That stupid moron. When I glance back, I can see he is deep in thought. Maybe I was a bit too harsh, but sometimes people just need to hear the tough things. Did you know? Huh? Even my own appearance I'm currently wearing is a fake. The face of his isn't makeups, unlike mine. What? Hey, you! God damn it, there's again being loud outside. If it's going to keep up, I'm going to have to stop recording for a little bit. But let's just see if... Um, you probably don't hear it all too much. Hopefully. So, let's just continue this. Hey, you! Yuri is standing face to face with his doppelganger. He still finds it hard to believe that his copy of himself before him was an entity that he summoned into the world. Yet, as Yuri looks at his reflection of himself smirking at him, he reflects on what Lucia had told him. It took him quite some time to fully think her words over, but he has reached a conclusion he wholeheartedly believes in. Uh, that he who... that? Yeah. Okay. Okay, a conclusion. <laughs> Yep, it's me. What do you want, boy? Heh, <laughs> finally gonna admit that I'm seriously a better man than you'll ever be. Yuri stares at his doppelganger for some time. He looks almost exactly like him, but if some people look closely, they can definitely see the difference. Yep, I already mentioned it before, like... Um... You can see some of his... You can some of his parts of him look really much more different. So... Yeah. The doppelganger has an Adam's apple. His facial features appear to be more masculine, as well as his overall physique. He really pays close attention to the doppelganger's broader shoulders and tall stature. Exactly. He just described what, 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 what I just uh, noticed before. So, yep. The person standing before him is now. Is how he always wanted to be. He really knew that his wish was to get people to accept him for who he was. But it, is it worth anything if this person is able to get everything he ever desired? Is his, his life truly improved in this matter, manner if it is per someone else that is using his name and acting like him? Yuri doesn't know what he should do. I don't want to die. 
I sure so don't want to die. That's why I hate to get rid of you. That's why I have to get rid of you. Why would you die? A day I almost got killed, damn it. Oh, really? If it were me, I could have taken care of that intruder. No, you couldn't. I was feeling a sense of danger in there. Are you afraid, kid? You sure? You're such a wuss. If you want to get rid of me, just because of that. I, I don't want to die, but almost alone is reason enough to get rid of you. Uh-huh. But too bad your resolution isn't strong enough. Maybe, but it never hurts to try. <laughs> oh. You wanna try beating me up? Come on, go for broke. Punch me. Here I go. <laughs> oh. In the flash, the two of them exchanged blows and that landed, which obviously hurt for both of them due to their shared sense of pain. This is so messed up. Yet that didn't deter Yuri from his intended goal. He sta steadied himself and landed another attack on his doppelganger. A doppelganger. The punches keep connecting with their target on both Yuri's. On both Yuri's, <laughs> their body starts to slowly bruise and their lower lip is cut pretty badly, blood dripping down their chins. After dealing repeated punches, Yuri starts to tire, gasping for whatever air he can see from the atmosphere. With each punch Yuri has accepted, he immediately realized something that he wished, that he wished weren't true. He couldn't win against a per this person no matter what he did. He truly is that weak of a person. What can he do? Yuri Ivanov, I've come to help you. Okay. Huh? Oh, no. Yuri turns and sees a woman standing behind him. She's holding a pale blue orb in her right hand. Oh. She throws it at him and he instinctively reaches out to grab it. As soon as his hand touches it, the surrounding flashes instantly into a bright whiteness as if <laughs> it obscured their vision. What? Holy crap. As Yuri opens his eyes, he finds himself as a doppelganger floating in mid-air in pure white void. He can see ribbons moving as if they were tiny little snakes dancing to a snake charmer's tune. What? Where is this? <laughs> he doesn't know what is happening, but one thing is sure, something materializes in his right hand. What the heck is this? I took a form of a sharp chef's knife. You didn't know exactly what it was, since he used it countless times. The instincts told him to kill the, weapons, uh, the weaponless entity in front of him, and he was starting to learn to listen to it. <laughs> what are you, an idiot? Do you actually think you could stab me with that little grilly weapon of yours? Well, we won't know unless we try. As a smaller and faster user lunges forward towards our inner incap incapaciated Yuri, a flash of someone sweetly smiling at him went through his mind. Who was that woman? The last thing he felt before everything went black was the cold liquid melting into his, onto his hands as his knife pierced his doppelganger easily. Oh. Nia patiently sits beside the unconscious Yuri as someone hurriedly runs toward her. There you are. There you are. Wait, you took the orb? Of course, I can finally save someone. But, but, I've worked so hard to get it. Why would you do this? Oh, so he already got the orb, but it was in his and it was in his possession, and she got it from him like she. Oh, I can I can see someone else die, not on my watch. Please try to understand. Hmm. Look, it is eyes. He is sleeping peacefully. Now that he has no other reason to die, he can continue on his, with his life. Isn't that the best outcome for someone? You truly are reckless. You truly are reckless, sis. Yuri wakes up in an hospital bed. I can see that his doppelganger is no longer in existence. He told me that the mysterious woman helped him to get rid of his doppelganger by using some kind of orb. I wonder if it was Nia. 
You can do it. Suddenly he takes my hand and holds him tightly. <laughs> oh man. Huh? Get rid of your doppelganger. I mean, you are stronger than I am. I just know that you can do it. Really? Heh, <laughs> you don't believe me? I know you can do this all on your own. You don't need any help from me. It was you who gave me the courage to move on and fight, even though the bad woman had to save me in the end. I know, and I'm so happy I was able to help you. I am here to help you. You know that, right? Yeah. Thank you. I know it was all thanks to you. You were that what helped me keep going in my time of need. It's because we're close friends. How? Oh, it's because we're close friends, Yuri. Friends don't let their friends get into trouble. Get into trouble. Get. It, it's so. It's supposed to be get into trouble. We're going to do our best and fight. <laughs> yep. Yuri is slowly learning to cope with who he is, but there is still a long road ahead of him before he can fully accept his true self. He says that he is going to help and protect me from now on, and no matter what, which somehow makes me really glad to have him by my side. I feel like I want to be there to protect Yuri too. He's actually a really good person that's a uh, really good person that's reliable. That's reliable? I know that with us being together like we are, tomorrow will just be fine. I lost contact with Nia soon after Yuri's recovery. On my way to visit him in the hospital, I stopped by her house. But there was no one home. One of her next door neighbors said that she's gone out of country for some for a while. But even ever since then, I was a bit too busy to go looking for her. We just lost contact. However, wherever she is, I know that she's doing fine. After all, she did something that is worth being proud of. Right? Yuri's path and free bonds. Alright. So, that's actually the end. Central Park phone booth. It's a phone booth. The two men who always hang out in the bar in front of it and find it unusually empty today. Hey, isn't there some dude that always hangs out there talking for hours? Beats me. People nowadays have cell phones. I don't see what the purpose of these old phone booths anymore. Guess a dude just eccentric. Hey, do you think he's a spy or come, come black ops agent? Shut up, you're freaking me out, man. I wonder where the guy is. Did he drop dead somewhere? Shut up, you conspiracy theorist. For years and years, the simple phone booth always remained a mute witness to the tale of the doppelgangers. This time around, though, it's no more than an unused phone booth. Oh. So right now in this, like in that ending, okay, that's good. So we are slowly but surely filling it. Okay, this is the third one, the third option that we did. I still have to do the first and the fourth one. <laughs> and let's just see. Where's the picture? Yeah, look at this. <laughs> okay, this is the picture that I was searching for. Well, so... This is like kind of like an end where he gets together with Lucia, I guess. And they like support each other and maybe even become more than that. But it's kind of still... Especially when you know this tomorrow ending, it's so sad in a way. Because just June is someone... It's just like someone completely gone from the scene and Nia is also gone and but we still have a lot of things to find out so let's see where this will go. I'm definitely eager to find out a lot more about it. I hope it's okay but I'm doing it like this so I don't read everything because it will be taking too long and I wonder do you want me to con- uh, I uh, is it okay if I continue with this game like this or do you want me rather like to do this game like on the on the side road and make some completely different playthrough and do this like every two times in a week. I'm not sure but do you really want this game also to be still one of the main playthroughs until I really finished it or do you already want me to start maybe a new playthrough and I will do this playthrough like uh, parallel to this other one. 
this is just my idea, so tell me what you think about it. I can just continue this way. I will definitely make, first of all, um, finish the path of Yuri because I really want to finish it. So, but we did definitely find out more about this story. So let's see where this will take us and hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching and <laughs> until next time, guys, on this path, reversed lies and in the next ending, hopefully. So until then, guys, see ya!